Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the TFNN, let's get over to our man, Mr. Dave Mazza. Dave is the head of product and managing director at Direction.com. As you're over our website, folks, just hit that direction banner. It can bring you right over to their website. We're talking daily levered and inverse ETF structures and a whole bunch more over that site. Dave Mazza, Happy New Year. Hey, Happy New Year. I'm glad to be back. It's great to have you back. And I'm glad, can, you know, let me ask you something, Dave, right? The, and this is on something different, but I know you knew, know what these rules are. We're getting a lot of calls, right? And the aspect of, you know, um, now, this isn't in your company, but you know the GBTC, okay? So people are reading that they're trying to change as GBTC, and I know you've explained a couple rules to us before, but can you just explain to us, like, why they can't change that versus the ETFs that you guys have? Yeah, so let's take a big step back here. It's Good. reasonable that folks are, 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 um, are asking questions about this because it's been in the news uh, as an ETF geek, I'm following it along with all my friends. So let's pay attention to it. And GBTC um, is a security, right? You can buy it and sell it on an exchange, but it's structured as a trust okay. that that, that uh, uh, trades um, on exchange. Now, there's some arcane rules behind it, but all, all you need to know is effectively it functions as a closed-end fund, which is one of the reasons why you have these big premium and discounts that happen right. because there's only a limited number of shares that are issued in the primary market. And then, of course, it trades in the secondary market on the exchange. In ETF structure is um, exchange traded fund. Right. Uh, but let's spell it out for a minute. That exchange traded component is really is really important because what that does is that it has a what's called kind of a continuous IPO on any given day direction and any other ETF issuers are creating either new shares if there's inflows in the fund or destroying those fund, destroying those shares, removing those shares from the market if there's redemptions. And that's one of the reasons why generally ETFs don't trade with big premium and discounts, even fixed income ETFs, gold ETFs, leverage and inverse right. ETFs, what have you, because there's an active market of traders um, like you and me out there and basically an active market of institutions who are working actually with the ETF to make that happen. And lastly, GBTC is asking to try to convert into that ETF structure because there's a lot of benefits to that primarily. Then let's set aside what's inside of it, of course, as we know Bitcoin. Um, but um, outside of that, that the ETF structure has, which is why even in a really horrible market for equities, fixed income and nearly everything in between, ETFs had their second best year of inflows last year as a whole. Yeah, and it makes sense. And so, so a trust, and that, that's why we see the, you know, lately that what we're talking about, folks, is that the, the negative premium. So it's like if you were going to buy Bitcoin, like why not buy this? But I wouldn't buy it because I'm so scared. Like how do you trade at a negative 40% premium? That, that's the thing that is like really hard to get your head comprehended around. But I, I understand what you're saying. Because it's a trust, and there's only so many shares. So what happens is that if people just sell too many or buy too many, right, that's the fluctuation in the, in the price and not yeah, the underlying exactly. value, exactly. maybe. So there is, a, there is an argument to be made, and we're hearing some stories about this, that if, if a, a large enough group of, of, of uh, investors or traders got together you 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 could you could buy the the shares in the market and and you you know they're worth more right because they're trading at a forty percent discount. Okay. But the mechanism to to close that discount doesn't real doesn't really exist right. Right. Now. Um. So I wouldn't be seeing this and saying free money at all. No, for in, sure. In fact, I'd be saying the opposite, which is sort of I think what you're alluding to. And no, exactly. And you know what has happened. And listen, we really appreciate the you know explanation. I know. You know, this is not your company. I got to promote direction, but that's not it. We really appreciate the education because this one here has been a mind scratcher, man. I mean, you know, and we'll see where it ends up, but I don't think it's going to end up too good myself because it's like I've been doing this long enough. If something is minus 40 percent or 35 percent, well, there's a reason behind it. You know what I mean? So because why wouldn't someone come in and just buy it all right and then try to close it out? But it, 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 exactly, exactly. And so let's um, I think this is also important to note. 
when um, uh, and leverage and inverse ETFs, as you know, direction special uh, specializes. Yes. They have in in our portfolios, as I've explained before. We have individual securities. We could own the underlying ETFs, and then we have swaps and other instruments to help amplify that exposure. And even and and that may sound complicated to folks, but even with within that. Um, the, our ETFs, the majority of them trade extremely well, massive volume on exchange because the ETF structure, right? That's the powerful benefit. Whether we're talking again about uh, a fund like GLD, which owns individual gold bars, what have you, SoxL, which offers amplified exposure to, to right. semiconductors or even, or even our, our new single stock ETFs. That, and, and, and that's also um, why we're seeing Mutual funds convert to ETFs because people want the benefit, uh, the flexibility of having to be able to trade on exchange with the transparency that you can have regardless of what's inside of it. Yeah, you have a much better product. I'm, I'm pulling, I just pulled up Nugget, right? So if you're looking at my screen, folks, okay? Nugget is trading at 40.95. It was just 41.02, and that's the exact net asset value. This net asset will change again. But yeah, you stay within pennies of a highly volatile market, which right. is so cool. Right, amazing. Well, listen, man, I really appreciate the uh, education, Dave. You have a great one, safe one. We look forward to speaking to you two weeks from today. We really appreciate you, you know, really getting that under control for us, man. Happy to do so, happy new year. Thank you, happy new year, man. Commodities, right there, folks, come right back.